Thank you, Kim. Campaign 2016 and the race for Cranston mayor. It was a lively debate, to say the least. That's old style politics. What, what's the what's the secret deal I, I posed in my own office, Mayor? Huh. Let's take a look at. Let's go back to the Providence list. Journal record. Yes, let's go. It has it. The two candidates for mayor of Cranston, incumbent Republican Alan Fung and Democratic challenger Michael Seepe, faced off on Newsmakers. Eyewitness News reporter and debate moderator Tim White is here now with what happened. In a race that has gotten nasty and personal, voters in Cranston may have a tough time sifting through the noise to pin down policy. This exchange says it all. Were you my, trying to solicit my funds to run for governor? Give me a break. Give you, I'm not, give I'm me giving a break, you a break, man. Old-style politics okay, yeah, old that just really, yeah. you know, <laughs> has no <laughs> place right, at this table. You Democratic challenger Michael C.P. went after incumbent Republican Alan Fung for not signing a pledge to agree not to run for governor in 2018. Would he sign a pledge that he's going to serve as mayor for the next four years? But he's never... You avoided the question, Mayor, constantly. I didn't, I didn't avoid, avoid the, question. the question. The only focus that I have is serving as mayor of Cranston. On taxes. You voted for one of the biggest tax increases ever in the history when we had a separate tax increase of $375 for every taxpayer in the city. You've sat in this chair and defended the policies of your hand-picked cronies, Mayor O'Leary, that led us to junk bond status, took a $10 million surplus, and that's why you're running for this. You see this $20 million surplus, you want to rate it. On road repairs. Each council person should come up with a list of about uh, 10 or 15 roads that they think have to be uh, redone or resurfaced. That's political cronyism. That's not based on engineering science. Both were against the legalization of marijuana, but were split on driver's licenses for undocumented immigrants. Fung says no. CP says yes. Tim White, Eyewitness News.